Ladies and gentlemen, Paramount War English Shed for One Piece is finally here, and I was blessed and lucky enough to actually find some boxes, but man, this was not easy to find. It was actually darn near impossible, and if I wasn't as like, crazy about these cards as I'm generally about everything, I would I would probably quit and gave up on these. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully y'all are having an absolutely amazing, wonderful, and beautiful day. Everyone knows I'm, most, I'm mostly a Poke tuber, mostly open Pokemon cards. One Piece is really more of like a guilty pleasure for me, but because I like sharing all my experiences with y'all, I just like opening them for you guys as well. Now, for people who don't know One Piece, this is the second set, OP1, OP2, I'm sorry. Paramount War. Now this was like scheduled to release on Friday, which was yesterday, today, Saturday. I think it was March something, I don't remember. The problem is though, Bandai didn't print enough of these boxes. Like they, like, literally none. So like MSRP on these boxes is about $100, okay? Local card shops who did pre-orders, pre-ordered them for $84. I missed the pre-order window. That's my fault, never gonna miss it again. Now, after release day, One Piece is so popular that every local card shop I know sold out of these boxes and even big name card shops like, for example, Smoke and Mirrors had an allocation of boxes. They initially listed them for 169, but like just took the listing down. And then on Saturday, they relisted them for 200 and they still sold out. So these boxes are going for double MSRP right now, even from card shops who have allocations from distributors and they're still selling at these ridiculous prices. Now, I don't know who to place the blame on for this. Um, you could say scalpers. Normally, oh, it's always easy to blame scalpers. Like, oh, they're buying it. They're not opening it for themselves. But I would consider mostly this is on Bandai's fault because Romance Dawn, the first set, was stupid popular. Booster boxes for Romance Dawn right now are around $300, maybe even more. So if they saw how popular Romance Dawn was, which is the blue booster box set one, they probably should have prepared for One Piece OP2, Paramount War, to be just as popular. But no, they were like, you know what, let's just same print run, maybe even less, and see how it goes. Well, now we are seeing how it's going. People are paying 200 and above for these boxes right now, and even some local card shops, to prevent scalpers, are selling these boxes without the plastic, ripping them open without the plastic for like MSRP, if you want it sealed, for 200 Now. My card shops, none of them do that, unfortunately, because if they did that, I would just rip all the plastic. I'll buy the open box as long as I can see the plastic being open, because I, I don't resell anything. I like opening them for channel and sharing those experiences with y'all. But honestly, hopefully, I'm really hoping there's a restock on OP2, because this set is absolutely gorgeous. If y'all haven't seen, I did open the Japanese set of it, and the cards were amazing. Um, but English sets, surprisingly right now, are like, double tripling the price of Japanese sets. And once again, you can place the blame on Bandai. They're just not printing enough. What are you doing? But another fun story, one of my local card shops that I normally rely on for One Piece stuff, they had like a two case allocation and instead Bandai and the distributors were like, no, we're not gonna send you the two cases you guys ordered. We're gonna send you two booster boxes. So the guys over there, they felt so bad, they just did like kind of a giveaway under the box. Obviously, this is not a giveaway. I had to buy these on my own. And I did buy these way over MSRP, but that's just the reality of the situation right now. You can't find these boxes anywhere um, for like, you know, MSRP close to MSRP prices. It's just not gonna happen. Luckily, the gentleman in the company that sold these boxes to me, um, like I said, over MSRP, but they still were very kind and generous. Um, so. I got two boxes to open for y'all on the channel today. We're looking for that Manga Ace card, and realistically speaking, I just love One Piece, so any card I get in the set is gonna be absolutely amazing. And one of the best things is they also gave me an extra box promotion pack. I don't know what was in the box promotion pack, but let's see what's inside and rip open the first box promotion pack. I don't know what these are gonna be, but let's, let's, uh, let's do this and enjoy this because this was an absolute headache. Oh, while I'm sharing this with you, I was at the Dallas Card Show. There were people who were having an open box of One Piece, right? Like, just like I have right now. But instead of selling the box, oh my god, Mino Koala as a promotion card. Okay, okay, still a nice promo. But there was a gentleman at the card show selling these One Piece boxes. Uh, not One Piece box, he had one One Piece box. Opened it up and was selling single packs for $20 per pack. 
the box is 100 bucks. So what's 20 times 24? $440. And the thing is, people actually bought the packs. <laughs> it's, oh my gosh, it's, it's actually insane. I, I thought Pokemon was crazy, but Bandai is just, they're, they you just got, guys, just, just, to, just print more. There's obviously people who love this set. So let's see, oh, okay. So we got a revision pack in here and a one card per pack promotion pack. Again, first promotion pack, I did get Minnow Koala. Second promotion pack, what is this? Okay, let's see what's inside. Um, Tashigi, okay, not bad. Okay, so this one I do remember from Paramount One's Japanese set. People were selling it at the card show as well. Nice card to have. And this revision pack here, there's seven cards in here. I don't know what that means, but I am gonna cut the top here. 33 types in total, revision pack. Okay, whoa, okay, leader crocodile from set one. King, guard point, scratch man up who, throw ulti, okay, so these are all, okay, so these are just cards from set one. Interesting, I, okay, they're literally just cards from set one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and it's finally here. We're opening Paramount Wars Booster Box. I gave up hope. I drove after work on Friday. I drove to like four WalMarts. No one had them. Finally, I was able to get some. It's just oh geez, this is gonna be epic. I don't even care. This is gonna be the most satisfying opening for me. I could care less if it's just getting Manga Ace or, manga ace or not. I just I'm so glad to be opening these. So hopefully y'all can experience the same thing. And I really do hope y'all can find boxes soon. And hopefully Bandai does print more um, to somewhat demand. That's all I ask for, guys. All right, Sol Death, Atmos, Land of Wano, Dobbin, Magura, Camille, Kabaji. Who in the world is that? Arabesque Brisk Fist. Okay, Leader Smoker. Kobe, and this is Jozu, the hit from this pack. So just a regular hollow, not bad. When pre-orders open for set three, ladies and gentlemen, just go get them, because pre-orders, if you can find the right place, it's around $85 per box, or 90 bucks per box, maybe 100-ish, which is MSRP, so pre-order the boxes. Don't be, don't be dumb like me. Don't be dumb like me. Okay, Sol Death, Moji, Sentomaru, let's go. Same Kumile, Nico Robin, I guess this is from the film. I haven't seen the film. Uh, Mino Koala. Mr. Two, Shiryu, oh that was, okay, so we got the box hit already. So this is the um, alt art like Dawn card. You get one per box and we've hit ours already. <laughs> this is just so, I'm just so relieved. I, I don't know. I'm just honestly so relieved that I'm able to open this with y'all. It's just, I really thought I'd have to skip Paramount War set two English because I just couldn't find it. So the fact that I have this in hand, Opening this with y'all. This, this is I'm just really happy about it. Helmepo, Edward Newgate leader card, Whitebeard, one of my favorite characters in One Piece by far. Meteor Volcano, Vista. Okay, nothing. Okay, let's keep on going, ladies and gentlemen. All right, set three, much better. Nekomamushi, Thatch, what a worthless character. New Kama Land, Jinbei, Blenheim, Don Quixote, oh, such a sad character. Mihawk, Don Flamingo, oh, hold on. Artwork, once again, on point. Diablo Jambu, Douglas Bullet, Brook, and the hit, Manga Ace. Or buggy, that, that's cool. We're doing great. Can you imagine, someone was selling this one pack I'm about to open for $20, and it was being sold and people were actually buying it? That's just, it's actually insane. Okay, Dogra, Impel Down. It's more than Evolving Skies, and it just came out. Okay, I'm sorry. Trafalgar Law, Gecko Moria, Sol, Rakuyo, Onigumo, Mr. One, Carrot, and I think there's a hit back here. Okay, I'm definitely more of a collector person. Um, like I said, I do have Manga Shanks. I do want to get Manga Ace. I'm gonna get Manga Ace at some point. I know I will. Um, whether it be packing it today or having to spend a d dumb amount of money to, to get the card. <laughs> Sentomaru, Tony Tony Chopper, Minotaur, Whitebeard Pirates. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna lie, they were a lot weaker than I thought they were when they did present in the show. Um, Little Sadi. Emporio Ivankov. So this is another one of the hits in the box. Um, no alt art yet or leader alt art just yet. 
but this one and Kuzan are the two hits so far. Not bad. Very nice character too. Okay, so we still haven't hit an Altar just yet, ladies and gentlemen. That means that one of these packs still might have a Manga Ace. Let's go, Wanda. Impel Down All-Stars, Frankie, Little Ors Jr., Doberman, Full Body, Gecko Moria, Don Flamingo, Diablo Jamba, Venice and Sot, Little Sadi again. Is that the alt art? Kuzan, is this the alt art? Oh, is this the alt art? Oh, I think this is the alt art. <laughs> Darn it. Wait, I hope, wait, I think this is the alt art. I think I've hit the alt art. <laughs> so I think this is the alt from the box, if I'm not mistaken. The borders are different. Is it the alts? I I think it could be because this is like the regular version, I think, and this might be the alt, but we'll see. Still doing great. We're on, we're now at the final pack of the right side of Booster Box 1. Jinbei, let's go. Blenheim, Yasakani Sacred Jewel, Blue Gori, Dracula Mihawk, Yamajuki, Yamakaji. <laughs> My bad. Strawberry. Ice Age. Morley. Oh my gosh. You know what? Some of these guys' characters, I don't even remember. Edward Newgate. So another one of the hits. Um, Whitebeard. I definitely love, love Whitebeard. So I do get one of his hits that's nice to have. Um, I do want his leader card though. So hopefully I can get that. Nearly done with booster box number one and we are blazing through. It is sad to think that this is almost coming to an end already. So let's go. Three sword style, solitaire, Dogura, full body, Gecko Moria, Isuka, Arabesque Brickfist, Bellamere again, Luffy. This time it's a hollow card, so then there's gonna be the hit behind here. Can it be big? It's okay. All right, we're doing good. 121 types of cards in total, and I think there's gonna be a big boy hit in this pack here. I don't know why. I see some like artwork there, it looks blue. It could be Ace. I'm hoping it's Ace. It is blue though, there's a blue background there. This might be the altar, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think it's Ace, because it should probably be white if it is Ace, but let's see. Yamakaji again, Strawberry, Crocodile, Squad again, Worthless Character, Minotaur, Gum Gum Rain, and something big. Let's go. I think this is the altar, or... Marco, oh my, 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 my. This is, I think this is the altar, not, yeah, this looks like the altar. Yeah, if you look at the card, I think this is the altar. So Marco is the box hit, if I'm not mistaken. Not uh, Kuzan, which is interesting because his artwork definitely looks different. Like, why are there two Kuzans in here? Let's keep going. I think we can still hit, hit an alt art leader card, which is definitely possible. So let's hope for a Garp. Let's hope for a Whitebeard. I don't know what other alt leaders are in here, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh yeah, um, Smoker. I'm sure there's one too. I'm not sure though. Uh, Mr. Three and the worst character in the history of One Piece. All right, nearly done with the first box. Still nothing too, too insane. I think Marco was the alt art hit. So we're gonna blaze through the rest of this and hopefully get an alt art leader card. Um, I don't think we will though, because they're pretty, t oh God. <laughs> I was about to flip. For a second I thought it was alt art uh, manga ace or something, I don't know why, but still very nice to have. All right, we're nearly done. And this video is gonna take a long time to edit because it's already at 20 minutes because um, I'm opening two booster boxes. I forgot why I stopped doing bigger box breaks um, for the channel. Dracul Mihawk, Inurashi, Isuka, Carrot, and something big, something big, Nami! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. So this is the alt art Nami card. I, I'm so confused. I thought, what? I thought this was the alt art in the box. Are there two per box? Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. But I finally got an Altar Nami. I couldn't get the one in Romance Dawn, but I got the one in Paramount War. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're nearly done with Booster Box number one. Um, I think we've got all the hits, because we got Altar Nami. We got an Alt, I thought it was, I think it's an Altar Marco. I gotta check now, I'm not entirely sure. Wanda, Impel Down All-Stars, Frankie, Little Ors Jr. But two big hits from this box. I, I Maybe they're two, two hits guaranteed. I'm not sure, we'll find out from the next box, obviously, because I'm, I'm opening it. And then we'll see. Vista. Oh, this is a hit. 
Anami Hollow. So this is not the alt art Anami that we just packed. So there is a variation difference here. So that's definitely an alt art then. I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of shocked. What in the world? That's amazing. Final pack from booster box number one, ladies and gentlemen. And from this box, we got two big hits from what I'm seeing anyway. And I think we might get something even bigger in this last one. We'll see. Domino, Usopp, you may be a fool, but I still love you. What a just tragic and sad and somewhat happy but annoying moment. Moji, let's go. Sentomaru, Tony Tony Chopper, Helmepo, Makino, Shiki, and I don't think I can expect anything more from this box, but let's see. Oh, Borsalino. Why did I think his name was different? I don't... Huh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, first booster box, I'll consider a win on my end. Obviously, um, like I said before, if you buy singles of these, you're gonna get a much better value, just considering the boxes themselves now are just so, so, so expensive. But still, here's me opening two of them regardless. So let's go, let's see what's inside and hopefully something crazy pops up. Once again, another revision pack and another promo pack. Last time we got, uh, I think, I forgot who we got actually, I gotta probably check it again. But let's hopefully pack someone different. That's all I really care for. Let's see who the box promotion is. Boa Hancock, oh my gosh, that is sick. Okay, so I don't know if this is like a rare card, but you know, Hancock and um, Nami and all the, like, the waifu characters tend to be very quite rare. Um, but hey, we got a big one, I think. Not entirely sure, but I'm enjoying the moment regardless. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to the final box of Paramount War. We have opened two booster boxes. We had two promo packs. Let's see what we can get in this final booster box. Let's go. Jinbei, Blenheim, Blugori, Zoro, Yamakaji, Strawberry, Arabesque Breakfast, Mino Koala, Suru, Carrot, and something big. Gum gum rain. Still on the right side. We're still on the right side. Plenty of packs to go. Plenty of chances to give me Shanks. Oh, not Shanks. Manga Ace. Let's go. Sentomaru, Komil, Kabaj, Daifugo, Ice Sage, Nico Robin, Hannibal. What a weird, weird, and very awkward and un. God, is the centering balance cards or just me? Weird character. Let's see if we can get something better. Come on, buy it here. Okay, so I don't think this is the alt art hit in the box, but I did pack this exact same card in the Japanese Paramount War Pack. Um, it's an amazing looking artwork, so I love this card. Glad to have it in my English set. I'm gonna have to put it in my top loader binder. So in the second booster box, we still haven't hit a big boy just yet. We're hoping for a big boy quite soon, or a big, big hit. Blenheim. Let's go, Mihawk, Yamakaji, Helmepo, Don Flamingo, Monkey D. Luffy Hollow card. So we did get the Hollow variant of this card. Um, there is an altar version of this card as well, which we got the Nami version. So hopefully, here. Not bad. I still take that, but we still haven't hit the alt art or box hit from this uh, box just yet. So we're hoping for it quite soon. Zoro, Moby Dick, Strawberry. Crocodile, Doberman, Douglas Bullet, Whitey Bay. I don't know who that is. Suru, <laughs> Mr. Three, and let's hope for something crazy. Sakazuki again. So this is the other regular hit we got in the first box. Still not bad. All right, so we're doing good. I, I don't think we hit the Shanks uh, Dawn card yet either. So hopefully some crazy stuff very, very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Domino, Usopp. You may be a fool, but I still love you. I never loved that guy. He's a horrible character. Anyways, Komio, Mr. One, Tony Tony Chopper, Minotaur, Mr. Two, and I think I see a pretty big hollow there. Luffy hollow card. I'm not gonna lie, I saw this artwork before. Um, I'm not a fan of this one. It's a nice hollow, but something about the artwork just doesn't sit well with me. He really doesn't look like Luffy for some reason. I don't know why, it's just, I don't know. All right, so we only have 12 packs left. This one by so fast. All right, so splitting into six, let's go on the left side this time. So the bottom six packs on the left. No alternate arts yet to my understanding, but we'll see. Wanda, 
Impel Down All Stars, Little Oars, Full Body, Gecko Moria, Isuka, Whitebeard Pirates, Nico Robin, Shiryu again, please. Kuzan again. Not bad. It's still uh, it's still technically a hollow card, so I'll take it. Okay, I still don't think we've hit the. Okay, so these are the hits we got so far in this box. I don't think we've hit any sort of alternate art just yet. So five hits. So let's let's hope for something soon. This is getting kind of ridiculous. We're nearly done with the box. So yeah, like seven packs left. Atmos, Land of Wano, Adobun, Kabaj, Tashi, Don Flamingo, Douglas Bullet, Onigumo, and the big hits are coming soon. Shiki, and please just, I don't know, I don't know, just give me an altar, come on. Emporio Ivankov, so another hit, but I don't think that's the box hit just yet. Not gonna lie, I'm getting kinda worried. <laughs> come on, <laughs> please. Okay. These are the six packs on the top of the left side of the box. So, open the box and the six on the top and left. I don't know why I did it this way. New Kaman Land, Jinbei, Don Quixote, Rosinante again, Yamakaji, Boa Hancock, Toki, Vista, and please, just an alt art somewhere. Come on. I don't think that's the alt art still. It's just a regular, like, hollow hit. So, Magellan, but not. Not what we're looking for still. There are five packs left. Come on, there's gotta be something else in this box. Come on. Come on. Come on, there's gotta be this box. There's gotta be this pack. I see something in the back there. It's like blue in the back. So yeah, it's like blue hollow in the back. I think it's a leader card. I, I think, okay, so I packed, I think it's a blue alt art leader card. I don't know who that could be though. A blue alt art leader. Saul, Django, Moji, Shishwalin, Shish whatever his name is. Kobe. Yeah, see, he's a blue altar leader. Who's a blue altar leader in the set? Ivankov. I wanted white beard or garb. <laughs> I had a, I had a feeling. I was like, blue, blue, blue. What leaders have we seen so far? And ladies and gentlemen, we had, we have packed our first altar leader in Paramount War. Very nice card though. Um, as you might, you guys may have seen it in set three, the altar leaders do change. It's no longer just their face. It's like a full body shot. It looks really cool. But hey, we packed one. Emporio Ivankov. So not terrible, not terrible. I did want Garp. I'd have the Japanese version of it, but I actually wanted White Beard the most, but hey, not bad, I'll take it. Two packs to go. These are the fifth and sixth pack in the left side of the box. So. Box number one, I definitely prefer so far. Box number two, kind of disappointing. Just, just, just not, just does not bring me joy. Yamato and, let's see what the back card is. Mr. Two. Okay, so I still don't think we've packed the alt art. Let me see. If we have, y'all let me know. But, I, I don't think we have. These are all just regulars, right? Unless that's the alt, which I don't think it is. So this is the final pack in box two, meaning that this should have the quote-unquote alt art in the... So this is pack number six on the left side. This should have the alt. If it doesn't, I I'm gonna feel kind of gypped, but I think I think it has the alt. So this, is, this has got to be the alt. Doberman, Full Body, Gecko Moria, Ice Age, Morley, Shiki, and the final pack of this Paramount War booster box opening, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate y'all sticking by. Let's go Ace. Garp's alt art card, not too bad. I will definitely take that. But we got a Garp alt art and an Ivankov alt art as well. So let's kind of go over all the hits so that we did get two alts in this box, not bad. Box number one, let me take out the promo cards here. Okay, box number one. Obviously we get the box hit of Shanks, Borsalino, alt art Nami, regular Nami Hollow, Marco alt art, Port USD Ace, Sakazuki, uh, Whitebeard, Emporio Vankov, and Kuzan, and another Kuzan. So he has two cards in the set. I did not realize that. Box number two, we got an alt art Garp, which is super nice. Garp is one of my favorite characters for sure. I wanted his leader card. Maybe next time. The box hit, Ivankov's leader card, Magellan, Ivankov, Kuzan again. Luffy's like regular hollow, which like I said, that's probably my least favorite card. Um, Sakazuki, this Oden card looks ridiculous. And of course, Whitebeard again. 
So in terms of the promos, these are the promos we got from the three, uh, the, the boxes there. I got a Hancock, a Tashigi, and a Mino Koala. And then of course, these are the four main hits here. Ivankov, Altart, Nami, uh, Edward Newgate, no sorry, not Edward Newgate, Garp, Monkey D. Garp, and Marco. So the four hits here. Box number one, I definitely loved it. It had Marco and Nami, I just can't believe it. But box number two, I think gave us the uh, Hancock promo. So I, I don't know, I'm kind of split. But let me know down in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen, which one was y'all's favorite box. And if y'all can find OP2 out in the wild, because right now, I can't find starter decks, I can't find booster boxes, but hopefully y'all have better luck than I do. Maybe it's just my area, but yeah, it's been it's been really tough. So hopefully things get better for Bandai and for One Piece fans all around, because I really want everyone to be able to kind of open these packs and really enjoy the experience, because it's really, it's really fun to open them. Um, it's just unfortunate that you, you literally can't find them. If you did enjoy, remember to like the video, comment if you're gonna be able to find boxes or if you already got boxes and remember to turn on notifications so you always know when I do upload new videos. Thank y'all so much. Have a great rest of y'all's day and I'll see y'all next time. Ooh,